May 22nd, the Okanagan Sports Network will join the crew and jump on the Heart and Stroke Big Bike. And we have 29 seats that we are filling. I'm number 29. Kaylin Jones from the UBC Okanagan women's volleyball team is going to join us uh, as well. And we'll talk about your biking skills in just a second. But we're sitting here in the month of May. Let's kind of reflect on, on the season that was for your team going to the Final Four. Was the team happy that you made the Final Four in, in the CIS? Absolutely. That was one of our biggest goals. Uh, it was our third year of being in the CIS. So first year we didn't make playoffs, unfortunately. Second year we made playoffs, didn't make Final Four. So our biggest goal was to make that next jump into being a competing CIS team and make it to Final Four. And next year, our big goal is going to be going to Nationals. Mm -hmm. When you lost in the playoffs against Mount Royal at home, did that really fuel the fire going into this past year and, and wanting to, to do better? Absolutely. Um, they've been one of our rivals. They're new in the CIS as well, so kind of puts a bit of fire to our backs and everything. Um, really excited to play them again next year off-season. Let's talk about that a little bit. You're doing some traveling, but what are you going to do in the off-season in preparation for next year? Uh, mostly just getting in the gym as much as we can. We have our new workout programs. Uh, I'm staying really involved in the volleyball community. I'm working for Volleyball BC, working with Steve and Jackie, our coaches, and helping coach as much as I can. And in, as well as li I'm living in Kelowna, so I'll be in the gym getting touches as well. Now you were just in Vancouver for a provincial tournament. What were you doing there? I was running the U15, U16, boys and girls, provincials. What kind of experience was that like? Uh, a lot of time, 14 hour days, wow. there from 8 a.m. until 10 p.m. But it's awesome to see all the new faces trying to get into the community. And our guys team came second in U16, which is unreal. And a couple of our fellow heat athletes, our coaches there as well. Cool. Uh, John Rowe, who used to train our team, as well as Jeremy Clare, who played, and Jim Bell, our coaches, so really good for them. Talk about your cycling skills now. This is a 29-seat bike. You've never been on the bike, right, the Heart and Stroke bike? No, I haven't. Have you seen it? I've seen pictures. <laughs> <laughs> so, you don't have to, like, race. Do you think you can hold your own on this bike? I'm kind of a spaz, so <laughs> I think I'll be fine. I'll be able to do it as long as I'm uh, with everyone else, I guess. And it's not a race, but yeah, I'll be fine. It's not a race, but I want them to have the fastest time. You understand that? Well, that's why you're getting all the athletes, right? Exactly, because exactly. <laughs> I'm relying on you because I'm not much of one. <laughs> yeah. I think we'll be okay. okay. Me, Cam, Sarah, and Michael. Yeah. We'll be able to hold our own. <laughs> well, thanks for doing this. Thanks uh, for getting aboard the big bike, and we'll see you on the 22nd. Thank you. Kaylin Jones from the UBC Okanagan women's heat volleyball team. She's going to jump aboard our big bike on May 22nd.